What is happening? Sandwich here. And welcome to a very exciting Let's Play series for Dimesia or Dimesia. Dimesia. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. You know me. I fuck I butch everything, bro. It's it's whatever. But this is a new Souls like game. Uh gameplay as I have seen and heard, I this I haven't even played it yet is a lot like Bloodborne mixed with Sekiro. Um, it's from a small developer team. I've been looking at this for, for a while. Since it was announced, I was like, bro, that looks fucking sick. Uh, you use plague weapons and it's, you know, it's got that whole Souls-like feel to it. I didn't even get to play the demo. Or, I mean, I could have, I just didn't, but... Um, anyway, yeah, this is episode one, so let's get into it. Let me check out the settings here. Camera sensitivity, that might be good. We'll have to see. Audio. Brightness, gamma display mode. I'll do borderless. Okay, get your <clears throat> you have made changes. I don't know what I changed. Saber attack. Oh, I'll figure all that out once I get into it. So <clears throat> let's start a new game. Yeah, I'm really excited about this actually. Gameplay looked really cool. Hermes Fortress, Hermes Kingdom, the land of alchemy. It's said that the alchemy employed here transforms diseases into antidotes. The people of Hermes were protected by this mystical art and the kingdom became one of the most powerful nations on the continent. Nice. In the beginning, people thought it was just another infectious disease. It wasn't until the livestock began dying and those who had been infected began shrinking out in pain that they realized a deadly plague had befallen them. The various kingdoms tried to fend off the sickness and ghastly creatures, but their efforts were futile and despair engulfed the entire continent. Hermes' kingdom, founded atop a colossal tree, quickly rose to power due to their use of a miraculous alchemical science, which was able to turn the plague into a cure. As the plague ravaged the lands, they relied on this alchemy to light the blessed flame. But where there is light, there will always be shadow. Dot, dot, dot. Hey, here we go. Basic controls. Use left to move Corvus and press in to, to sprint. Use right to look around and A to interact. Pause the menu. Cool. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's glitchy. Oh, there we go. Okay. Sure, I don't like that motion blur. Let me see here. There we go. Okay. That's how you move. What we got here? Crumple it up piece of paper. Follow the commands and search for the cores. Okay. Uh, bu -bu okay, so that's how you run. Hey. Use right bumper to perform a saber attack. Use B to dodge enemy attacks. Saber attacks deal damage to enemy and leave wounds on them. Wounds are temporary and will heal after a short period if no more damage is inflicted. When the enemy's health and wounds are both zero, they will become dazed. Approach a dazed enemy and use right bumper to execute them. Okay. Okay, I get it. Cool. It is like Sekiro. Dodging feels nice, fluid. Uh, is that a ladder? Can I use it? No. Can't break shit. What the fuck? 
What kind of Souls game can I not break shit with? I'm just kidding. I didn't get this earlier. Administrative order. Due to the recent epidemic outbreak, Hermes Kingdom is declaring a state of emergency. All citizens must abide by the following orders. All citizens are forbidden from going out. Essential supplies will be distributed by the knights. Any sightings of plague-like symptoms or mutations must be immediately reported to the knights to be dealt with. Any corpses or unclean objects must be handed over to the relevant personnel for incineration or purification. Effective date? Immediately. So I wonder if that's like a uh, past or now. Oh, hey, hey, bub. Nice. Uh, use left bumper just before an enemy attacks. Hit to deflect it. Deflecting an enemy attack d damages the enemy and negates any damage to Corvus. Okay. Uh. Whoa. Fuck that up. When Corvus's health is low, use Doom to consume potion. Corvus can only carry a limited amount of potions at once, so use them wisely. Nice. Uh, so the parry. I'll have to get used to that. Paper on the ground one. A deadly silence hangs over the streets, and the city's completely sealed off. There's no food to be found, nor any water. Okay. Oh, we've already read that. Face enemy and use locked on. Yeah, I already figured that out. I'm trying to parry this guy. I don't know about the parry system. Either I'm not doing it right. I mean, I guess I didn't get hurt, so it essentially does what it's supposed to do, but. Can I creep? You are the devourer. Wield your claws. Tear apart these cursed bodies. Press right trigger to perform a claw attack. The claw attack deals a lot of damage to enemy wounds and prevents them from healing. Okay, but I gotta damage him first. Oh, okay, I get it. That's pretty cool. Obtaining a plague weapon. Each enemy has a unique plague weapon, and Corvus can reave this for his own use. Hold right trigger to fully charge Corvus claws and release to reave a plague weapon. Reave deals even more damage to enemy wounds and prevents them from healing. Corvus is vulnerable whilst charging his claw. So it is safer to perform on dazed enemies. I fucked that up. Or did I? I think I killed him. I killed him before I got the chance to do the thing. Damn it. Let me see if he can. Maybe he'll respawn. Yeah, I don't see a stamina bar either. Shit. Okay, he didn't respawn, but that's okay. Hey, bub. Okay. 
Oh, fuck. Oh, I didn't get the one I wanted. Casting a Reeve Plagued Weapon. Cast Y to cast a Reeve Plagued Weapon. Reeved Plague Weapons can only be used once. Corvus has super armor when casting Plague Weapons, but still takes damage. Nice. Let's go. Okay. The King's Dagger and the Grey Armor. They are our last hope. They led the survivors and tried to make things right. The infected corpses were burned to purify them of the sickness. So these plague weapons, huh? It doesn't matter what the enemy is, whatever weapon they are using, I get it. I like that. What do we got over here? Skook! Give me that shit. Mwah. He's got the axe. That's cool. Axe seems pretty powerful. Nothing back here. Dead bodies. Uh, resting at a beacon will save current progress, refill potions, and restore health and energy. Resting at a beacon will also resurrect most enemies. Okay, so these are bonfires. Beacon found. Who's that? Uh, what? Level up, unlock talent, plague weapon, potions, use forgotten feather, cease recall. Okay. Some shit to look forward to there. And I get to keep my plague weapon um, through a beacon, which is, in my opinion, nice. All right. Man, I'm excited, dude. I've, my, I was looking forward to this game for so long. Feathers, as lethal as iron arrows, piece their weakness. Critical attacks and feather attacks. When a green light appears before an enemy attack, they will perform a critical attack that cannot be deflected. Instead, Corvus must move out of range or use a feather attack. Use left triggers to throw a feather and interrupt the enemy attack just before the enemy's critical attack hits Corvus. So it's like a parry. Shkung. Okay. Corvus will regenerate thrown feathers over time. Feathers will also leave wounds on the enemy and stop them from healing for a while. Okay. Maybe that time. Got it. Oh god, get out of there. Oh god. Okay. Let's try this. Nice. Ah, you can't really dodge far enough. I need to. There we go. Give me your shit. Key to the cemetery. And I got some kind of big ass sword. Dude, I was not doing very well there, but we got him. So the feather is like a special parry, but it's got a way better timing.
And I can also sit here and I can spam parry. <laughs> but it doesn't it doesn't work when you spam it, honestly. Hey. Oh, that's a How did this all begin? They said that an accident occurred on the day of the king's birthday. Previously, the plague was only spreading outside the kingdom, but after the outbreak, all have gone mad. I think I should go back and um, rest, probably. I don't know if this guy's going to respawn, but it doesn't really matter. He does not. I look pretty cool. The game looks amazing, really. I, I mean, I don't know if I'm gonna say amazing, but it looks really well, well done graphically. so far okay so I got three different ways I can go there's a uh, quite a I mean these mechanics are probably all that there are combat wise but you know it's semi complex not really but I mean it's not just swing your sword and whatever you've got a few different parry abilities hey what's up Boom. Yeah. Nice. Okay, I'm starting to kind of get. Give me your spear, sir. They don't aggro. Oh. I kind of want to do that to everybody, just so I get a weapon for free. Dagger. Yep. The pathway to all regions of the kingdom are either lined with monsters or blocked by soldiers. None can leave and none can enter. Did I go up here? No, cannot. This sounds like a uh, Mount Gilbert uh, Volcano Manor music. So we got a boss, maybe. Ooh oh, shit. Did he just one shot me? I had full health, right? Oh, that was supposed to happen. Okay. I really thought I could beat that guy, though. Hello, little one. Corvus, you're finally awake. I was worried about you. 
You were badly hurt. Luckily, you made it back in time. Ace me. Ace me? Corvus, do you remember what you did? You need to write- you need the right formula to use Hermes' answer. It appears that the injury caused you to lose your memory, so perhaps it would be helpful to start with a description of what you still remember. Come back when you've got your memories in order. Until then, you can walk around. It might help jog your memory. Um... Hermes Royal Bulletin. The families of the Knight Knighty Knightly Order petitioned the king to stop sending knights to battle outside the kingdom's borders. The former chairman of the Institute of All Chemical Studies, Emerald, has officially appointed someone to take her position. Emerald said that she wanted someone with greater abilities than herself to lead the all chemical research in Hermes. The Twilight Circus hailing from the Sea of Trees, was once again invited to perform in the royal court. As expected, Ringmaster Odur's new performance was received with great acclaim from all who had attended. Uh-huh. So this is home base. Corvus can recall his memories by revisiting locations and quests in the map. More memories and locations are unlocked when Corvus starts to remember. Asami's Journal. Philosopher's Hill is the royal family's sanctuary. Every fall, father would take us here. He says that on the hill he is not king, but, a, but merely a father and a friend. There is no need for formalities here, he would say. After the outbreak, domestic matters became pressing, and our visits to this place grew less and less. <clears throat> Excuse me. Philosopher's Hill? What is this place, though? Um, I guess it is like the base. Edward the Blessed Notes. What brings me the greatest joy is coming to Philosopher's Hill with the children every year. Watching them run about, playing together, never fails to help me forget the turmoil in the kingdom. Recently, some strange sickness has plagued the lands beyond our borders. I must make our kingdom, I must make sure our kingdom is prepared. Okay. I probably can't do a whole lot here yet. Yeah. I don't know what that green bar is down at the bottom. Ancient words by the gate. It is the exhortation of former kings, exhortation of former kings, who he who examines himself shall never be lost. If you guys are new to the channel, um, I'm going to let you know. Your boy Sandwich here butchers everybody's name. The funniest shit is if you look at my Final Fantasy 14 Let's Play. Oh man, it's bad. Because they got some fucking crazy ass names there. Okay, back to the game. What did they say to do? I need to get talents Saber attack, saber in air. All in the air, press R. How do I get in the air? Ah, homeward. No, that's a dark sit, dark sigil. Use this item to acquire a small amount of memory shards. That's like souls. Tutorial. Lore. Story. Recipe. Okay. Oh, here we go. 
In the early days of the plagues, or the plague, the nobles banished all criminals, the poor, and the sickly to a lower level of the kingdom known as the Sea of Trees. The upper rings of society, living above the slum, care nothing of their lives. They refer to them as the hopeless, letting them succumb to sickness and all manner of ghastly creatures. Search for the cores. Oh yeah, so was I supposed to beat that guy? Maybe. No, I don't think this is where I was at. Level up menu. Corvus can use memory shards to enhance his attributes. Strength increases saber attack and wound damage. Vitality increases maximum health. Plague increases, increases claw damage and maximum energy. Corvus gains one talent point each time he increases an attribute up to level 25. Okay. Oh, nice. I didn't lose my souls when I died memory shards all right let's level up so uh, I've got 300 health 314 or one point of damage so okay so usually how I handle these like same thing I did in tarnishing of juxtia but with this, we have a lot less options. So I'll probably do... I'll probably just do them all equally. So, like, I'll start with Strength. I'll do Vitality next, Plague next. Just so I have a... Oh, I can get multiple points here. Okay. Corvus can use talent points to learn new talents. Talents can be unlearned at any time, so experiment with different playstyles to prepare for the various challenges that lie ahead. Okay, I got two talent points. Perform fast saber attacks up to a five hit combo. Nice. So I can get that. Oh, I don't even have the ability to do that. After performing execution, some health and energy will be restored based on the level of the enemy. That could be helpful. Or I can get... When successfully deflecting attacks, the enemy counter gauge is reduced. Hold LB to enter defensive mode. Reduces 60% of damage against basic attacks, but cannot defend. Ooh. That sounds good. Corvus can perform a second dodge. I'm definitely going to need that. Corvus can dodge twice, and the second dodge is longer. That sounds helpful. Press RT again after the after a long claw to perform a second attack. The second claw damage increased by 30%. Dude, there's a lot of customization, dude. This is fucking awesome. Because all of these are viable. Perform a series of short range claw attacks up to a three combo. When hitting an enemy with a short claw, gain one stack of offensive buff. Okay, I assume that makes me hit harder. Gain super armor when performing Predator's Claw. I already have super armor a little bit. When successfully interrupting a critical attack with a feather dart, Gain a stack of Predator Swiftness buff. Greatly increase the charging speed of your next Predator's Call. Strategies.
Gain a second slot for plague weapons. Unlock through skill shards. What is that? Damn, dude. This is tough. I think I'll get that. And... Probably go with this. Or... Yeah, because I'm going to need to dodge. Alright, cool. Alright, let's test that out. Ooh, yeah. Because I was trying to do that earlier and I couldn't. Uh... Oh, shit. Look at the time fly. I'm already at 30. Alright, well... That seems like a good enough place to end the first episode. Um... So, next episode, we will pretty much rightfully get into the game. I feel like the first part, first episode was tutorial and all that stuff. So, uh, we will go through this area and hopefully get to the first boss. So, appreciate y'all stopping in and I hope to catch you on the next one.